Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Today I promise not to talk about hair care. Um, we will only talk about hunting, fishing, um, large equipment, uh, chewing tobacco, and straight razors. Today I'll be using my gold dollar purchased from and honed by Frank at Strike Gold Shave. Frank is awesome. Um, shaving brush today is my Sterling Finest Badger, 26 millimeter. Nice backbone, really soft gel tips. If you can see those, super, super nice brush. Love it. And I'm excited today to get some, I'm trying a new shaving cream. You guys know I don't really use very many creams, uh, but I've heard that this is like one of the best creams you can get, so I was excited to try this. This is Castle Forbes Lavender. I don't know if it, it's a pretty dark, um, pretty dark label, so you can't really see that very well. And my aftershave is also going to be my scent of the day. I'm hanging around the house today, so I'm going with the Reserve Lavender. Um, from Barrister Man, sorry. All right, so I'm just gonna get a little of this cream out. Um, and typically I'll either take a little nug out and put it on my face or take a nug out and put it in the brush. Um, and this time I'm just gonna put it on my face. Once again, I've never used this cream before, so I'll see what it's like. i an almond-sized nugget and I'll just kind of mix it around in a, a few locations on my face. This is a little, um, texture-wise, a little, hmm, not as creamy as I would have thought. A little more like a croup, like it's just a little bit, a little bit harder. So, not that it's hard by any means, but we'll just try this out and see. I'm going to just dip a little bit of water into my brush, squeeze it out, and get some of this water out of the sink. And let's do this. Happy Sunday, everyone. Hoping you have a hope you're having a great weekend. Mmm. Very nice lavender scent. A lot stronger than I thought it would be. I would go. Mmm. Not mid strong on this. Obviously very easy to get the lather started. Gonna dip the tips of the brush in water and get this lather going. One thing about creams, when I use them, I fling lather all over the place. is really nice so far. Creams typically kind of leave my face kind of dried out um, when I finish shaving so we'll see if that's the the case here. A lot of people say this is a really really great cream and commands a pretty pretty hefty price. So it better be good. nice and thick ought to give me some good protection and I'm just gonna rub the Allen block with my fingers to get some good grip I 
Let's see what this gold dollar can do. I'll line up my sideburns first. Used to do that just to get the line going, and then I give a good stretch. If you don't stretch uniformly um, and you pull and then get your line, you may find out it's not exactly the line that you wanted. Of course, I've never done that before. Nice. Plenty of protection there. And using this razor and my, you know, versus my um, Fraternity 33 from Wester Brothers, there definitely is a different feel in the blade. Um, I don't know how to describe it yet because I'm still, you know, once again, fairly new to um, straight razor shaving, but there definitely is a different feel to the blade. And not necessarily positive or negative, but... I can feel the difference in the steel. All right, line this up. Okay, give a good stretch. Cream is certainly doing what it's supposed to so far. nothing like the sound of a straight razor cutting through your hair. I just turn my head up here to stretch this neck skin. Kind of pull my chin up as well to get it real taut. So far, really nice. It says like four days growth too, so it should be a pretty good test.
This chin is still real tough for me. It's kind of all about finding straight, flat spots. Um, and my chin is not very flat <laughs> with, the, uh, with the dimple. So I basically just try to shave in as flat of spots as possible, no matter what direction that is. If my face was just flat, I guess it would be a lot easier. doesn't really matter how you do it as long as you're getting the results that you want. All right, nice first pass. This is a nice cream. Um, creams, in my opinion, do not have that kind of... Um, uh, residual slickness that's the word I'm looking for residual slickness like a, a good soap does um, that being said this is nice um, it's slick enough um, but it's just not the same some people may like creams more than soaps um, I definitely like soaps more than creams This is very nice, don't get me wrong. I will absolutely use it again. But I don't know that I will use it with a straight razor again. I mean, could I have gotten more water into this? lather yeah um would that help it it might but i can tell you even with a hydrated ladder lather when i run my finger like this and then go back with a clean finger it's not the same as the soap a really really nice lavender scent I'm very happy with that all right let's go across the grain I just stretch my ear right here and then stretch my face that way Try and get that skin tight. Safety razors are great. They have a bar that does that for you. The bar kind of stretches the skin before he gets to the blade. With this, you don't have that luxury. cheek this way I'm just going for a nice lay around the house shave today where my kids don't complain about my spikes Not looking for baby butt smooth. Just looking for a nice serviceable shave. I 
Also, I'd like to be able to shave tomorrow morning too. I got uh, samples of, or a sample of Barrister and Man's Ravish, uh, which I'm excited to try. I got the a sample of the soap and the aftershave. So, I'm hoping to use that to start my start my Monday. So, I don't want to shave so awfully close that I don't have any hair left to shave. This is getting mighty close though, so I don't know if that's going to happen or not. We shall see. I guess it's kind of hard to not get a close shave with a straight razor. Very nice. I'm just gonna look now and see any spots that I missed or that aren't quite as close as I want. And we'll get rid of those. Once again, I'm not going for a baby butt smooth shave. Just getting the hair off. Could definitely go over the mustache area again. Why that scent is great. fingers. Let me stretch the skin a little better. There we go. There we go. Sometimes it's kind of tough to get in the corners of your mouth. Kind of afraid I'm going to cut the inside of my mouth. All right, I'm just going to kind of give this a once over again.
feels nice to get that off. How do you guys feel about creams versus soaps? Love to see your opinions. You leave that in the comments below. So please subscribe if you haven't. Like this video. Okay. Can hear some extra hair there. I'll spend a little extra time there. Hey, buddy. All right, nice. That will work. All right, time for the album block. Hmm. No feedback so far. All right, I'd say I did a nice job. I'll clean my brush out. Get that. There's a ton of lather there. Definitely used too much. Really nice stuff though. Really nice, got really nice protection to it. Just doesn't have that that post shave that you expect from a you know a really good soap or the residual slickness. Just not there. But did I enjoy the cream? Absolutely. It did the scent was fantastic. Really nice, strong lavender scent. Didn't expect that. That is uh, that is probably worth a tub of this, just on its own. What do you guys think about Castle Forbes? Have you used it? Impressed with the scent. The performance was good. I wouldn't say that it was great. I would definitely say that it's good. I just like, you know, typically more slickness than that. Um, and I want residual slickness too. So, overall, a very nice cream. Um, but it won't be replacing my soaps anytime soon. And another another lavender scent that I love. It's this Barrister and Man Reserve Lavender. Super nice. Actually lasts a good while too. Ooh, that's another strong lavender. Definitely get some oak moss in there as well.
Very nice. You can see the color of this after you shake it up. It looks milky. All right, and I'm gonna finish up with some Nivea. A very nice serviceable shave thank you guys for joining me again and I'll catch you on the next one